Welcome back to another episode of Life is Spiritual Presents Real Life Testimonies. I'm your host, Bamboo African Bantu, also known as Tim. And again, I'm here with my beautiful wife, Erica, and our guest, Miriam, a gospel artist. And we just want to thank you for joining us. And we want to talk about gospel music, uh, the dangers of secular music, and just the overall purpose of music. And yeah, we just want to touch on some topics that will help some of our youth who are really interested in music and they want to um, be big, they want to be stars. And I think God has put in human beings the desire to be big mm -hmm. and to fulfill their dreams. But there's a way you must go about it carefully. Mm. Yeah. And as we start, I just want to encourage you to share this video because I know so many people will be blessed with the message that uh, we are sharing on this platform. So feel free to comment, share, subscribe, like. Let us know what you think about everything that we post. We always look forward to hearing from you. You can also uh, access our books. We have written books on the same, uh, on the same topic, Erica, Part 1, Seven Years in Hell. And all our books are available on Amazon Kindle. They are available on our website, www.lifeispiritual.org. In Uganda, you can find our books in Uganda Bookshop, Enjoy Bookshop, and Aristotle Bookshops. Yes, in Kenya, you can contact us on those numbers uh, on the screen. But without wasting your time, we would want to introduce our guest today, mm -hmm. Miriam, to you. So, Miriam, you're welcome. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I'm so excited. Oh God, mm. yes. the anointing is just too much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we yeah. thank the Lord, we really bless the Lord. Amen. So kindly tell our viewers who Miriam is. Yes, mm. Miriam Nambi is a gospel minister, yeah. for gospel music, mm. um, an entrepreneur. Mm. I do small, small business around Uganda. Mm. And then I'm a worshiper. Mm. I love Jesus. Wow. I love people, mm. and I'm happy to be here. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. She loves Jesus. Mm. Do you love mm. Jesus too? Mm. That's a question to answer, for you to answer after this show. Yeah. Do you love Jesus? I love Jesus. He loves Jesus. She loves Jesus. Mm. And do you love Jesus? Mm. So uh, what was Maryam Nambi like before Christ? Yeah, before Christ. Or were you born, <laughs> born again? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. I grew up in a Muslim family mm. when I was a child. My father is a Muslim. Mm. And when my father got my mother, they were all Muslims. My mother and my father were all Muslims. Mm -hmm. So I found myself being in a Muslim family. Mm. Like, it's really a big story. Mm -hmm. We, like, how could I say? My mother, my father got my mother when she was very young. And mm. she started giving birth. First of all, she gave birth to two kids mm. from another man. Then my father got her. Mm. And then after getting her, she gave birth to us. I was the first born, first girl. Mm. Then the other two girls, mm. time reached. Like my father maybe because he was a Muslim, he had to get another woman. Mm. And <laughs> he had to take us in a village. That's Kamli, deep in Kamli there. Okay. So we're there for some time mm. and then my father got some problems with that woman she had. Mm. They had a fight, he got problems, and he ended up being in the hospital. He was about to die. So, a, like someone came for my mother in the village, please hurry up, come and look after your yeah, husband. Yeah. He's <laughs> about to die. Mm. Was your so, father a Christian? No. Was a Muslim. Uh, he was a Muslim. Muslim yeah, he was a Muslim. Yeah. So my mother, like, carried us, the three kids, Mm -hmm. up to the up to town mm -hmm. there we started life in town she looked after the husband the husband got got fine mm -hmm. and then like she had some problems in the village where she was in the village that's where she got saved from wow. so coming to town she was already saved mm -hmm. yeah there she started taking us to church while looking after the husband mm -hmm. like we are kids mm -hmm. yes she started taking us to church and then, like, I loved church so much because we used to be in the Sunday school. We could sing, mm. do a lot of stuff in the Sunday school. Mm. Life was it's long. Mm. Yeah. Life just, was not easy. Yeah, it was not easy. Mm. And then she gave birth to other kids because mm. we were around eight. Mm. 
mm. and like my father was had given like bad to other kids and it's a big number of children wow. so my father could not take care of us very well mm. and time reached that I could end up being in a pastor's home mm. that's where most of my life grew up from in a pastor's home wow yeah I think uh, this situation God used this to bring you back to him Mm. He had a plan for you, mm -hmm. so he allowed certain things to happen, like where your dad getting another woman mm. and, and, and another wife, and mm -hmm. and then all those things happening. Your mother eventually getting saved. Mm. It did not happen by accident. Yeah, yeah. God had a plan. Yes. So we thank God, you eventually you got saved. What inspired you to get saved? What is part of because it's personal. Me? I know mom, mom got saved personally, and I know you also had that moment when you decided to give your life to Christ. What was that moment, and what inspired you to? Yeah, mm. I think what inspired me most was my pastor because mm. after my P7, the rest of my time I was at the pastor's place. Mm. So, I will thank God for that pastor. Pastor, thank you so <laughs> much. Not every pastor is kind. Yeah. 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 That is a man of God. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Then life started now. New life started. Mm. He used to put the gospel music, that American music, mm. and then we used to sing in Sunday school. Mm. But getting real saved, it's after my senior six. Mm. I had a lot of stuff which came up with my life. I struggled with life a lot. Mm. And there's a time <laughs> when everything was not there for me. Mm. And I'm like, let me just say God. Mm. That's why I went to, is it Mutundwe? Mm. <laughs> Mutundwe Christian? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. I spent a lot of time there, like almost one year and a half, seeking mm. God what to do. My life is really down. Mm. I'm not seeing anything. I've been in church for a long time. Mm. Life can't change. Why? Mm. And then I had to pray and pray. That's why I got deliverance. Mm. Wow. I'm here at the pulpit, worshiping, praising. Someone comes in like a friend. Mm. Then I started doing my music. Mm -hmm. I was, was like just <laughs> going to go to that. Mm -hmm. I was just going to ask, <laughs> when did you realize that you had a talent? And when did you start singing? Of course, like, since I was in the Sunday school, mm. and I used to sing in the Sunday school, I got so much interested in music. Mm. And, like, in that P7 vacation, mm. like, my pastor was like, you guys, you have to join the worship team and sing. So we were there, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> just singing, but not knowing, like, what there is, doing? Yeah, there is mm. ministry building in us, mm. something like that. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, while doing that, there is a way God can lead you you start learning something spiritually. Mm -hmm. Maybe when you're singing and you feel like, <laughs> you feel the good, the good, the goose bump? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you start getting that experience. Mm -hmm. And then you like, I need more of this. Mm -hmm. I need to experience more of this. There was a calling on your life. I think. To worship God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. What kind of music do you do? Because I know mm. somebody is so curious out there, they want to know what kind of music. Yeah, I do gospel music, of mm. course, because of that foundation which was built in me. And mm. I learned a lot from church. Mm. So I am like, I have to serve my God because I know where he has brought me from. Mm. I know how I prayed and I got a breakthrough. Mm. So I'm like, I should do gospel music and serve my God. Okay. Mm. Do you write your music? What inspires you to do that music that you do? Yeah, I write my music and mm. then my producer... Helps like you. yeah, he helps me around. I'm like I want to sing these words, these words. Okay. Now yeah. music has financial challenges. Mm -hmm. I know it takes a lot to go to the studio to do a video mm. to promote it. Uh, those financial challenges in ministry. Mm. Like how how would you advise a gospel artist mm. who is out there thinking that you know when you do music. You, you just do it and your music will be played all over and everything will be okay. And you see, they see the vehicles, they see, they see those uh, mm -hmm. celebrities and they think music is a bed of roses. Eh? Mm -hmm. You just be a celebrity and begin to shine all of a sudden. So uh, w what advice 
According yeah. to your experience, would you give those people? <laughs> According to my experience, mm. do gospel music as ministry. Mm. It mm. will not make you, it will not bring you depression like competition or what. Mm. Do it as ministry. Because mm. sometimes, like me, I can have that zeal. Mm. You have to do something for God. You have to do music. Like something good. Yeah, something good. You have that passion in you. I'm like, ah, I need to write something. I need to sing. Mm. Like, you need to do something like which explodes the world. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I have like. Something professional. Yeah. yeah. And then like, it's a ministry. Mm. You, you, in, like God can provide. Mm. I've learned from him. Mm -hmm. uh, he He's a gospel artist. He used to do secular music. Mm -hmm. And he's this kind of musician who wants perfection. Mm -hmm. oh. So he'll put in a lot of money in, in an audio mm -hmm. and video mm -hmm. and everything and promotion mm -hmm. and everything. And sometimes you're looking at the returns. Mm -hmm. you, you can't compare the returns mm -hmm. to what has been invested in this music. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I understand mm -hmm. if you do it for ministry, you'll be contented. You'll yeah. be peaceful. Yeah. You'll be contented in like you don't have to fight like for the promotions and what. Mm. God always connects to those right people mm. to do most of the things. Do what you can and God will do the rest. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. We thank the Lord. Mm. And uh oh my God. <laughs> Any advice for the youth? Those ones who just feel like, Oh me, I just want to sing for money, I want to sing and be famous and popular <laughs> and all that. What advice do you have for them? Maybe other music, but not gospel. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. gospel, you can No, I don't think... Go anyway. God can just make you rich. Mm. But music-wise, like making money in gospel music, <laughs> it's a ministry. You're preaching the gospel, Through which me. has to reach out to each and every person. And sometimes my friends are like, mm. now I'm in Nairobi, they're like, you guys have to come back with money. I, we know you're making money. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they think <laughs> you're here to, to make money. You oh think? my God. Yeah. Mm. You have to come here with money. And I'm like, oh my God. Mm. Look at what this mm. guy is doing. <laughs> yeah. And we should not stop uh, mm. serving God with our talents because we are looking at money. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. God can provide. He can, he, can, he can open doors. He can connect you to the right people at the right time mm. for his purpose, for, his, for the cause of the, uh, for the, the, the gospel's sake. Mm. God will always open a door. Yeah, oh, my God. And, mm. you know, it's important to, to realize that even if you're a gospel artist or a musician, you're, a, you're still a member of the kingdom. And, and according to the word of God, everyone in the kingdom is supposed to be in business. Mm. It says so in First Thessalonians chapter four verse eleven. Mm -hmm. It says that you study to be quiet mm -hmm. and to do your mm -hmm. own business. Mm -hmm. It says that. Mm -hmm. So, doing business for a Christian should be standard. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you have a job, come home, start your business. Whatever kind of, even if it starts small, I don't care what it is. Start small, sell peanuts, but sell something. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that he that sells his corn, the people shall bless him. Mm. But he that does not sell it, the people shall curse him. Mm. So if you're not involved in some kind of sales, the Bible says that the people who are around you shall curse you. And how do they curse? By not giving you something in exchange for what you're selling. Uh -huh. So you're supposed to be in some kind of business. As far as the Bible is concerned, you're supposed to be in business. Mm. Yeah. So, and, and I think that can help you because there will be offers. You know, mm -hmm. they'll mm -hmm. come and, and the secular guys, will be like, what are you doing doing gospel, man? There's I no know. money and there's stuff like that. <laughs> I know. You, I need, know. you need a defense. And part mm -hmm. of your defense is not just, it's your integrity, yes. You mm -hmm. refuse to compromise your integrity. But also, you will have financially empowered yourself by obeying the scripture, by actually doing some kind of business on the side mm -hmm. to support your music. Otherwise, if you only rely on music, oh, mm -hmm. and I feel sorry for any artist who only relies on his mm -hmm. music, especially mm -hmm. if you're in gospel. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're in Africa, whether you're in America, because at the end of the day, a record deal is a loan. Mm -hmm. And it is a loan that is taxed. Mm -hmm. And imagine, especially in the US, they give you a record deal and it's a loan that is taxed. Who taxes a loan? Is the government going to help you pay off this loan? No. So, so why are they taxing a loan? So it's important for you to think. Slavery. Yeah, this is slavery. So, you know, you need to have a business. So that means that you need to study. That's why the Bible says study to be quiet and to do your own business. Yes, In other words, you study the, 
the industry, you, st you understand finances and you understand business, you read books on business, and then you understand how to do business and then how your business can support your gospel career. Mm -hmm. And that's how, if you structure it like that, then you'll do well. But if you only rely on music, especially in this day and age when music is free, Mm. So anybody can go to YouTube and download your music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, there's there's YouTube to MP3. Anybody can download your music. So mm. that means anybody can get it for free. So you need to have a system device that can allow you to earn while you are, um, you know, doing music and without having to do it for money. They they have this thing of stardom. You know, they 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 want to they, they want to be in a level that. They have they have not upgraded to yet. Mm -hmm. They want to go up before time. So <laughs> because of that, they will be so desperate, and they will do everything possible to remain relevant. They 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 they, they will compromise. They will do everything. You see, social media has all sorts of garbage. Mm -hmm. They will do everything. They 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 even compromise. They will sell their they will sell their souls. They will mm. sell their integrity. You see all those blue, blue movies that these celebrities are releasing. Mm. All those, um, the fights that you see gospel artists getting involved in. All those scandals. It's because they are looking to be relevant on mm. social media. Mm. They are fighting. Mm -hmm. But the, mm. the secret to, to someone getting to the top is at the altar. Amen. You go down on your knees Amen. and you rise to the top. Amen. You go down on your knees and pray, and God will promote you. The more you pray, the more likes you get, the more views you get on social media, the more the, the, fav the favor will just come automatically because mm -hmm. God will honor you mm -hmm. for your humility. Mm -hmm. As an artist, you have to be humble. You have to read the word. You have to know. Actually, you also have to study, as he said, because mm -hmm. when you study, you know about copyright. Mm -hmm. You know, you know so much that you will not be taken advantage of, mm -hmm. and then you'll be able also to to get knowledge to start different businesses as the spirit of God will lead you yeah. when you go on your knees. I hope someone out there is getting blessed. Right now, we just want to go straight to the topic: What are the dangers of listening to secular music? You know, I served the enemy for for 18 years. I worked with secular artists. Mm. I know secular music sounds good to the ears, but it is destruction to your spirit, to your soul. It will lead you to hell. As you're listening to this music, you're thinking that it's just entertainment, but the enemy is so strategic. Remember, Lucifer was a musician. The Bible says he used to, he, 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 he was one of the most beautiful angels that God had ever created. His name was Lucifer. Lucifer meaning light bearer. Mm -hmm. You know, a light bearer. Lucifer was beautiful. He was one of the most beautiful angels that God ever created. And he was created with all the musical instruments. They were inbuilt in him. He didn't need anyone to play a keyboard, a guitar, any form of instrument for him while he was singing. Mm -hmm. Everything was inbuilt and it would come out automatically. He would sing all the voices at the same time. He didn't need any backup artist. He would he would just sing, and everything was obvious. He would not he would not fail in 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 hitting any note, any musical note. He was just perfect. He was perfect in everything until iniquity was found in him. So when we talk about secular music, these musicians, because most of them are in covenant with the devil, they know what perfection is. So their videos will be on point. Their, their, their audios will be on point. They, they have the money because the system, the money industry is controlled by the enemy. It is controlled by Lucifer. The people who print the money, are, are, they, they, are, they are working for the devil. They are working to build the kingdom of darkness. So now they will be funded. They have all the resources. They will do all sorts of uh, everything that you need to watch. Their music is, is good to the ears. Their videos are good to your eyes. You watch because the, the enemy, what the enemy is targeting, by the way, he's targeting the doors to your soul. And the doors to your soul are the ears, the eyes, and the mouth. So that's why the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. It comes from within and then it comes, with, it comes outside. So 
Whatever we speak is a manifestation of what we have in the inside. So now, when these musicians who have covenanted themselves to the enemy start to sing, their music is being inspired by evil spirits mm -hmm. because most of them visit witch doctors. They go to shrines because they are looking for anointing. What is going to make your music sell on, uh, on social media, on, on all those platforms, is not your voice. Mm -hmm. We have many people who have good voices, but they are not known. What will make you famous and popular is the anointing that is on your life. So, when you listen to secular music, you're opening up your life to, to attacks from this musician, the, 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 the anointing that is coming from this musician who has sold his soul to the enemy for fame, for money, for, for influence. Whatever they have gone uh, to for the devil, uh, for, uh, to, to get from the devil, when they are singing, their music, their music comes right from the throne room of Satan. It's Lucifer who is inspiring them to, to give you the message that they are delivering through their music. They have mm -hmm. sold their souls. David used to sing, but he was anointed. And the Bible says the Holy Spirit was the Holy Spirit came upon him when he was anointed. And every time he sang, the king, King Saul, the demons that were tormenting him would flee because they could not stand the anointing mm -hmm. on David's life. Mm -hmm. So there are some artists who sing and disorganize the kingdom of darkness. Mm -hmm. And there are some artists who sing and bring the presence of demons in people's homes, in people's lives depending on the message that they are, that they are passing on to through, through their platforms, through their music, through their videos, through their audios. So you have to be careful and mindful of the things that you listen to, the places that you go to, mm -hmm. the clubs, all these places. I don't want to say much. I want to allow <laughs> my husband because he was a secular artist. Mm. <laughs> Today he's a gospel artist. I want him to tell us what he knows about secular music. Yeah, so basically music is energy. Mm. Okay, it is the release of energy. And where there's energy, there are also, especially where music is concerned, vibrations. Mm. So from these vibrations comes the ability of transportation. In other words, music is a transportation mm. vehicle. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you've ever listened to a song and suddenly you remembered a time when you first heard that song. Mm -hmm. What happened? You were transported back to that place. Wow, wow. So it's possible for a song to transport. And what spirits use music for is to transport them from one place to another. Mm -hmm. So you can be minding your own business in the house and then suddenly a song comes on. Mm. And then... After listening to the lyrics of that song, you become aroused su suddenly. <laughs> or, you know what I mean? And then you're in the mood to go to a club and you're like, wow, I haven't been to a club in a long time. I haven't been out drinking. You know, music can inspire. Yeah, you're being transported. In other words, depending on what kind of song mm -hmm. you're playing, you're inviting spirits into the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once you have that knowledge, you begin to utilize music the way you want it now. So we play worship and gospel music because we want to invite the presence mm -hmm. of God. So we know what we're doing when we play music. Mm -hmm. But somebody who's just young and just wants to enjoy music, they don't know. They just enjoy the beat and they enjoy the lyrics or the melody. And when they play a song, they don't know that they are inviting spirits, especially the spirit that is, in, that is inside the artist. Mm -hmm. So whoever is the artist is covenanted to. Mm. Those are the spirits that you're inviting into that atmosphere. So you, you bring spirits into your room, into your bedroom, into your, into your ears. If you're listening through your, you know, through your earphones, you'll bring those spirits into your life directly. And sp music is going to hit you in three main areas. Mm. The beat of the song is going to hit your will. Mm. Mm. The melody of the song is going to touch your emotions. And the lyrics of the song are going to program your mind. 
So in any song, your, your will, your emotions, and your mind are being programmed. So that's the power of music. It programs the mind, the will, and the emotion. Mm. And the emotions. So when you have music in any location, you know that the people who are listening to that music are being programmed mm. mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Mm. So it's very so music becomes very powerful. Mm -hmm. Music is insanely powerful. Wow. So um, it's important to know what is the science behind the music and what is the purpose of it. So you can have a gospel artist, but he's not really saved. Mm -hmm. He's covenanted to the devil, mm -hmm. but he's in the gospel circles. And there's a lot of gospel artists who are like that. Mm -hmm. And they can come out with a, with a message and sing about Jesus, but the lifestyle of the artist you is different know them by and, their fruit. and because his lifestyle is different mm. there is an impartation every time you listen to that music there'll be an impartation he'll be singing jesus but the energy that he's giving from his lifestyle mm. is imparting fornication adultery immorality mm. Mm. you know the things that keep many musicians bound mm. especially the area of pride yeah Im immorality and you know fornication adultery masturbation homosexuality has invaded music mm. in a very big way because musicians in the secular world worship baphomet mm. and baphomet is that is that form of the devil that is both male and, and female mm. so that's one of the devil's names baphomet and that's who they worship they worship baphomet in hollywood like crazy You're right. they, that's the that's the that's the main area of satanic worship and bafflement causes them to become homosexuals mm -hmm. but as they increase in that sin they they seem to be getting a lot of money but the bible says there's no peace for the wicked hmm. so the the money might be coming in but the, the enemy HIV knows well. yeah the enemy knows mm -hmm. how to extract it from you mm -hmm. so now you got money coming in but now you're going to the hospital because you're suffering from strange diseases mm -hmm. And the curses that come upon you from serving other gods are very real. In Deuteronomy 28, God gives commandments that you shall have no other god. Mm. And the moment you start serving other gods, a list of curses come upon you. So in Deuteronomy 28, from verse 1 to verse around 14, there's a list of blessings. But now from verse 15, all the way down to verse 68, is a long list of curses, strange diseases, You'll take a wife, another man will, marry, uh, will lay with her. I mean, oh my all God. just mm. so, cu all kinds of curses. You'll be all the way up to and including slavery. Mm. You'll work hard, another person will benefit from it. And this is the, sto this is the order of the day in secular music. Mm. Secular artists are always complaining about how hard they work and somebody else eats their money. Mm. Mm. It's a true story. True. It yeah. happens. This thing happens all day. Even Michael Jackson, by the time he died, he was crying Indeed. about Tommy Mottola mm. and how uh, Sony Music, he had made over a billion dollars for Sony Music. Mm. And he was complaining that these people have stolen my music. They've stolen my, I've made all this money for them. And yet I can't, I can't have my rights back. So he was complaining about being robbed, about mm. being made a victim, being victimized in one way or another. And those are the curses that are consistent with idolatry. Mm. So one of the key areas of any, if any human being, avoid idolatry. Mm. And that's one of the things that music does. Uh, celebrity. It, yeah, the celebrity oh lifestyle. <laughs> Yeah. You, you have fan. Yeah, your fan <laughs> becomes to, an, an they idol. They want to fight you when you mention they are celebrity. They want to, uh -huh. to, to fight you on his behalf. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Erica, God. let me tell you something. Like, we have some big celebrities, like mm. in Uganda. You hear them? Mm. They have their writers. Mm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. these writers are secular artists. Mm. <laughs> what oh. can you say about that? They and they're gospel. big gospel artists. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. And, like, even some producers, when he he wants to produce for your song mm -hmm. he first he first have to listen to some secular music wow and see then, that and then he'll be because some of these producers are not saved mm -hmm. yeah. and just like uh, you have that gift to sing this one has the gift to produce mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so depending on the source of his power mm. you know he he he'll get his motivation from where his power comes from mm -hmm. so he cannot deliver his services to you mm -hmm. perfectly mm -hmm. without going back to the source. Mm -hmm. That's why every Christian, every gospel artist should, should be prayerful. 
and you should be the one to direct the producer, not the producer to direct you, because it's God that has given you that song. He has put it on your spirit. Mm -hmm. He has given you the beats. He knows. He has told you how the song has to go. So when you go to the studio, the producer will try to divert you. But sometimes when you listen to the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. uh, actually not sometimes, all the time, when you listen to the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. the song may sound like it's not good, but mm -hmm. the way it will travel, mm -hmm. like, it, I love this musician, Theophilus, mm -hmm. Theophilus Sandy. This, this brother in Christ, is, he's a very humble gospel artist. He's a worshiper. You look at his videos, he doesn't, he, he doesn't even put in a lot of money. He doesn't. Mm -hmm. he, just, he just will sing and you'll see a photo just as a cover for, for the video. But the, um, the anointing on the brother's song, mm -hmm. the, the first time I felt like, yeah, I'm listening now to true worship music. Mm -hmm. This guy doesn't put in a lot, but the music speaks for itself. It comes from the throne. Mm -hmm. You listen to the beat and you don't know. No, there is an angel who could have given this guy this beat. Mm -hmm. No, it's not from this planet. I understand. Mm. So just like uh, our brother Tim was, was explaining that music can be transport. When I was serving the kingdom of darkness, these witch doctors, sorcerers, there are certain levels they can't go to without music. Mm -hmm. There are certain songs they sing to be transported into another realm. Mm -hmm. And when they are singing these songs, you would literally see the demons manifesting themselves on this planet when mm -hmm. they are conjuring spirits. Mm -hmm. There are certain songs they sing. Now, these simple witch doctors, because even in sorcery, there are, are levels. Mm -hmm. So there are witch doctors, there are sorcerers, and there are wizards. Now, a witch doctor will sing, Luvale Wabana, Goloko Konkwate, demons for, for children, rise up and sit on me. You, 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 I think you got me when I was young. I'll never forget you. And they are singing it's, it's just a song but they are conjuring these spirits they are summoning them to come and sit on them so that they can be able to deliver their services mm -hmm. to 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 their customers to mm -hmm. their clients mm -hmm. and then there are some songs that the sorcerers will sing mm -hmm. and these sorcerers they are sorcerers because they are on a higher level some of them are in the music industry others are in the banking section mm -hmm. others Others are in the medical uh, sec section. They are, in, they are spread all over. So you, uh, you find a musician saying, you give me heart attack. You turn me upside down. You give me heart attack, heart attack, heart attack. Mm -hmm. And people are dancing, but they, mm -hmm. don't know th they don't know the consequences of listening to this kind of music. They don't know mm. that this music is anointed. And this, the Bible says that Satan came to steal kill and, and to destroy. destroy. So because this musician is serving in the kingdom of darkness, his music is anointed to deliver the ministry mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. Lucifer mm -hmm. to you, the mm -hmm. listener. This musician is just a puppet. He's being used to transport mm -hmm. these demons from one dimension into another dimension. Remember, the enemy cannot operate effectively on this planet without a human being. Why? Because God has given us this body and this body gives us dominion in this world. Mm -hmm. That's why you see, even if there is a very powerful spirit, it will not work effectively without a body. Mm -hmm. They will need a body in order for them to be able to deliver or do whatever they have to do on this planet. So now these musicians who have opened up their lives to the enemy, they have sold their souls. He will tell you, I gave my soul and conquered. I make my enemies to scatter. He will tell you in his music, he gave his soul to the devil. So he mentions the songs he has released ever since he sold his soul. And this, pe people are listening to the song. They are enjoying the beat, but they are not listening to the message. And they don't know the effect that this song has on their life. A person starts listening to a song that my husband comes back at, it comes back past midnight. Sometimes he doesn't come back. Mm -hmm. He comes back past midnight. Sometimes he doesn't come back. And you're dancing, you're dancing. You eventually see your husband coming back <laughs> past midnight and sometimes <laughs> not coming back. And that is a song. A person will sing, lonely. I am so lonely. I have nobody to call my own. You know? Mm -hmm. And you're, you're, you end up being lonely because this music is transporting these demons from one dimension into another dimension. Mm -hmm. It is transport. 
So you just need the enemy just needs you to to to, to co recite yes those sing, lyrics. Sing. sing along to the song. Listen to them at night. Participate. Put the he needs earphones. You, he needs your help. Satan needs your help to destroy you. Mm -hmm. Speak as yeah. you're speaking. You're declaring because your word, your word. By the way, your word is like it's like your li life and it's, death. It's life. Yes. Life and death are in the power, power of, of the, the tongue. tongue. Mm -hmm. They that love it shall eat the fruit thereof, meaning that you're going to get the results of what you keep on saying mm. over and over and over again. Mm. That's why it's always so important to always say, never allow somebody to say, ah, there's no money in gospel, there's no money in serving God. Mm. So just tell them, shut up, there's plenty of money in this thing. Mm -hmm. It's just that you don't know where it is, but mm. there's plenty of it. And God shall supply all my need, you know. According. Don't say what you see, say what you want to see, because you are going to you create, create that reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And... It should be known that there are two dimensions. There are two realities. There's the spirit realm and then there's the physical realm. Mm -hmm. Now, the spirit realm is eternal. It's, more, it's far more powerful than the physical world. The physical world is temporary. The spiritual world is eternal. Everything in the physical world came from the spiritual world. And we live in the physical world, however, we are dual in nature. We are both spirit and physical beings. Now, because we are in this physical world, our consciousness only allows us to see, hear, taste, smell, and touch in the physical world. But when we sleep, sometimes we dream. Mm. And when you are dreaming is when you are now seeing what is happening in the spiritual world. Mm -hmm. So it is important for you to recognize that your dreams are the barometers of your life. Your mm. dream is re it's, it's an indication of what is taking place mm. in your life. And everything that happens in the physical world, first of all, takes place in the spirit realm. So any gospel artist should draw their music from the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. That means you draw your music from heaven. So if a secular artist is writing for a gospel artist, you see there's confusion already mm. because you're supposed to draw any good artist, first of all, is someone who's able to draw from the spirit. Mm. You know, a, an artist is somebody a who can something. draw from the spirit realm and showcase it in the physical. And when people see that something has been pulled from the spirit realm and demonstrated in the physical, that's when they're blown away. Mm. But if, you just, if you're just doing something that's pure 100% physical, nobody's going to be really impressed. Mm -hmm. But if you can draw from the spirit realm and demonstrate that thing physically, you'll blow people away. Mm -hmm. And all of this technology that we're using, all of this stuff, these are these are this this is stuff that has been transported here from the realm of the spirit. We're just cop this physical world is just a copycat. Mm -hmm. Everything in this world is a copycat of what is taking place already in the spiritual realm, mm -hmm. which is highly technologically advanced. Mm -hmm. So we are just trying to copy with all of our little, you know, with our phones and our laptops and our technology, whatever, however far you've gone in technology, this is just, those are just an imitation copy of the spirit realm. So mm. it's important that you know that when you're playing music, you are drawing spirits from that realm. Mm. That's why witches know what they're doing with it. Yeah. They're, witches, sorcerers, wizards, they are drawing spirits. They are conjuring spirits. So now you're playing the same music as a witch, but you don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> and the spirits are coming for you, so you're wondering why you're getting attacked. You are wondering yes, why your life is going wanna, crazy. You find yes. this gospel artist, mm. he, uh, he has many such artists in his laptop. Like, oh, I'm wow. learning from him, I'm learning from him, I have to pick some knowledge from him. Like, oh. What? oh no. Yeah. Light does not mix with darkness. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, you look at a musician, like I uh, mentioned the name Beyonce. She, well, she came out and, and said that there is a spirit in her, Sasha Fierce. Mm -hmm. uh, every time she's performing, this spirit takes over and she does things that she cannot do, like, uh, n like a normal person cannot do. She, she does all those kinds of, of performances. But because this demon called Sasha Fierce. There is another artist. She's a, she's a hip hop artist. She mentioned that there is a demon called Roman that, mm. that enables her to do all those lines, you know, remember all Nikki. her lines. Yes. Mm. And, you know, and sing perfectly. 
you know so uh, these musicians are clearly telling you that it is not them there is a spirit in them if mm. it is not of god then it is an evil spirit and it is from the kingdom of darkness and it is sent it is on mission to destroy your life because that is what the enemy is that that is what the enemy came to do he came to steal kill and to destroy what they are showing you on tv they are showing you uh, the golden chains the diamonds they are showing you the silver and and everything is looking beautiful on the outside mm -hmm. but they are not showing you the covenant the rituals that are involved they are involved in they will not show you that this person is suffering okay they will show you on the outside this person is well endowed the person is carved uh, the person is perfect but they will not show you the surgery process and they will not show you what this person is going through to maintain that kind of lifestyle mm -hmm. so the youth are looking at these secular artists and they are admiring they are admiring their appearance they also want to go and do the plastic surgeries they also want to wear the diamonds and the golds and and, and everything that these artists are p portraying on tv Mm. But they will not show you how they are being sodomized when they are being initiated into the brotherhood. Yes. That one they will not show you when they mm. are wearing pampas. All you see <laughs> is them wearing uh, sagging jeans. Yeah, <laughs> sagging jeans. But they will not show you the pain in those sagging jeans. <laughs> there is a reason as to why the jeans are sagging. They will yeah. not show you that. Yeah. They will not show you the pain they go through at night when demons are strangling them. That one they will not show you. They will not show you the pain that is causing them to get addicted to drugs. At least they have to take a drug to find some sleep because yeah. there is no peace for the wicked mm -hmm. and the bible says he gives his beloved sweet sleep so why do you you're sleeping this celebrity of yours is who being, you're admiring yeah is being strangled by demons mm -hmm. but you're sleeping <laughs> with the music from that celebrity why you're sleeping while the music is being played in your house so you you're asking yourself why you're having dreams uh, when you're flying and things are chasing you and you're having dreams when you're being strangled you don't know that the demon that is strangling the other one or sleeping with you uh -huh, is entering your house mm -hmm. through your tv through, through your, your radio through station, your earphones yes through your phone through your radios mm -hmm. you don't know that this music is is transporting this demon from the other artist to you from, they say me to you from me to you <laughs> the, the demon is, it is transporting it is transporting these demons and that's the reason as to why you find your life going down you're struggling mm -hmm. you're christian you're not having a breakthrough mm -hmm. everything you're trying to do is going the other way around it's going the opposite direction because there are, there are doors in your life that you need to close you need to shut those doors and program your life yes. from the spirit mm -hmm. by the word of god mm -hmm. so you program your life by what god's word says mm. and you need to listen to music that is reciting god's word that mm. is inspired by the holy ghost and the person performing that music must be full of the holy ghost mm. now Anybody, whether they are saved or they are not saved, whoever they are, if they're going to make a definite impact, they need to be filled with one spirit or the other. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can't just perform as an artist on your own as a human being. You're not good enough. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter how much you practice. Mm -hmm. Because once a spirit enters you and begins to enhance your performance, now that is a performance. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's why, in fact, we'll show you a clip of Beyonce performing and you'll see that it's not just Demon. her. She's not alone. Mm. There is a spirit that comes inside her and enhances her performance. Mm. And then that's when she becomes a spectacle. Mm -hmm. That's when everybody's looking. That's when like, you wow. see, wow. And that's when they start going crazy and people are now, you know, um, you know, worship. People are basically like going crazy in the crowd. They don't know they're worshiping the devil that's inside of her. So Satan is making a mockery of them, okay? Strange. Okay, regular choreography. Here we go. You know, the little Sasha Fierce face. Go, Sasha. Go, Sasha. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Woo! Oh! Play it back. Play it back. Here. Woo! Woo! Play it back one more time. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Slow motion it. For those who didn't see, slow motion it. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Now, for those who still didn't see, I'm going to give you a still clip. Still clip number one, still clip number two. And even in the gospel world, even in the kingdom of God, you cannot even worship without an enhanced, an enhancement from the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He has to enhance your worship. Mm -hmm. Even, even ministry, everything that you want to do for God, you can, he won't just allow you to do it on your own as a mm -hmm. human being. He has to, first of all, 
be inside you and then he anoints you for service and mm. then your service or you, whatever you're doing for him goes on and takes on another dimension mm. and that's when you're effective mm -hmm. otherwise just just a human being alone is not enough a human being is a container mm. a very unique container simple? because mm. you are you have a mind of your own you have a will mm. so you're either going to serve the lord you're either going to carry as a container the spirit of god or you're going to carry demons but mm. you'll carry something and it's not only the music industry mm. even the soccer players there is yeah. one soccer player who came to me and and he mm. told me that uh his his manager before they traveled told all of them to to prepare and visit a shrine he's born again mm. because the people they are competing with also use different kinds of powers mm -hmm. so they all have to be dedicated to his god so that they come back with a win now how are you going to compete with these kinds of people as a christian if you're not prayerful mm -hmm. you see even in, in in the banks you people who go to get loans in mm -hmm. those banks do you know that uh, when you go to get those loans this uh these people the owners of those banks do you know where they take those forms that you fill in mm -hmm. do you know why uh, you pay that loan you get to a point when you're almost completing that debt Mm -hmm. and and the money mm -hmm. and everything that you're trying to do uh, mm -hmm. goes the the opposite direction like mm -hmm. literally whatever you try to do to finish that debt to pay off that debt whatever you try to do mm -hmm. goes fails. It, it, yeah it fails and you're wondering why i've been able to pay let's say you got a million you're able to pay the 900,000 mm -hmm. but now getting Getting this 10,000 to top up to that million <laughs> becomes a hassle <laughs> and they end up taking your house, mm -hmm. they take your land. Plus whatever you've paid. Uh, yes. That's how they make their gains. Yeah. Because so if you witchcraft. paid everything back, they wouldn't make enough. There is witchcraft involved. There is witchcraft involved. Yeah. So mm -hmm. how, the only way you're going to survive as a Christian is by being prayerful. Because even in hospitals, they are sacrificing people. You go to a hospital and the doctor the doctor just abandons you they mm. they just they just like for, for example i gave my testimony on how i survived narrowly when i when i was giving birth the doctor induced me and he disappeared and he turned off his phone how would you explain that situation this is a very good hospital it is it is recognized it has every every kind of equipment and they are they are they are advertising themselves everywhere but a doctor induces you and he disappears and he turns off the phone. What does that say to you? There are, there are some satanists in the medical sector. And they are there to sacrifice people. They want to kill because mm. they are serving the devil who came to steal, kill, and to destroy. So we want to encourage you. We want to encourage you, our brothers and sisters, mm. to pray. Read the Bible. Stop, stop following celebrities. That is just, it's just fiction. It doesn't exist. Let Jesus be your role model. Let Jesus be your everything. Let Jesus be your source. Let Jesus be, be, be your life. There, you, your life will flourish. You will do exploits, you know, to the glory of his name. I hope you're learning. I hope you're you're understanding, so you're getting something <laughs> from everything you're sharing. Yeah, yeah. you know, the, the, this world, the Bible teaches that this world is controlled or ruled by the powers of sorcery. Mm. It says in Revelation 18, verse 23, when, the, when this whole system of sorcery is being destroyed, the Bible prophesies about everything. And in Revelation 18, verse 23, it says, And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in you. Mm -hmm. And the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride shall be heard no more at all in you. For your merchants were the great men of the earth. For by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. So you see, it's the power of sorcery that is controlling this world. And it's not just in music. It's social, mm -hmm. political, economic. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So if you don't understand that sorcery is controlling this world, you'll find yourself being a victim. And the only thing that can overpower sorcery is the word of God. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have the word of God, you're going to be a perpetual victim. Mm -hmm. You'll be a slave in one way or, or another. Other. Yeah. Oh, so we want to thank you, our sister, for sharing your experience with us. Mm -hmm. 
and I know somebody out there has learned from your experience. Did anybody hate on you, any of the Muslim background, anybody from your father's people? Did they say, oh, you've become Christian and um, you have forsaken Allah? <laughs> yeah, since I started being with the pastor, my father became so mad. <laughs> your father? Yeah. So he began to treat you He really you a became so way. mad, but... He was well, like he was struggling also. He couldn't look after us. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, let me first finish up my studies. I'll go back mm -hmm. and repent to him. Mm -hmm. And then I, I went back after everything, and I had to say sorry because he was really mad. Uh -huh. But he's still a Muslim. I'm still praying for him. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So did he accept you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. At least. Mm -hmm. At least he did. Yeah, yeah, so you can support my sister by mm -hmm. uh, listening to her music. Mm -hmm. I don't know which platform. Where can we find you? Yeah, Mariam Nambi 256. Wow. Yeah. So you can listen to her music, support her, yeah, on her platform. And, yeah. uh, and if you also uh, wish to, to support her ministry, the details are on the screen and in the description uh, box. Mm -hmm. So may God bless you so much. I hope you have learned something from everything that we have shared. And I know you're going to help another person learn something by sharing this video uh, to as many people as possible. Uh, don't forget to visit our website, www.lifeispiritual.org, because eventually we'll end up uploading videos on our website because all our videos are being censored by these other platforms, YouTube, Facebook. So. We may end up uh, just, uh, if you don't see us on, on YouTube and Facebook, visit our website, www.lifeispiritual.org. Be blessed, Mama Maisha. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. God bless you. Erica served Satan for 18 years. After her deliverance through the Lord Jesus Christ, she traveled throughout Uganda ministering and testifying of her experiences in churches, schools, and at any gathering of people where she could speak. One day after ministering in a Ugandan village called Midiana, they had an accident while riding on a small motorbike after a crusade. Erica's wounds were so deep that she died. Erica explains what she saw after she passed. She describes heaven, some of the different levels, and how she entered into that glorious place. She describes the angel of death, his operations, and the inner workings of the kingdom of darkness. Download this book and bring fires of revival back into your life. From lifeisspiritualministries.org God bless you.